Preparing for AZ-104 exam and missing on case studies can adversely hit your chances to pass the exam. Case studies are the kind of questions that not only prepare you for the exams but also take your overall cloud understanding to a whole new level. Hello and welcome back to the Tech Blackboard. Once again today, here I am with a case study type of question on AZ-104. And this is our part 5 on AZ-104 case studies. In case you missed to watch our earlier 4 parts, I highly recommend you to watch all of them. Solving case studies need practice and that's why we bring to you a lot of case studies and today's case study is a little different but very interesting. So let's begin our part 5 with one more very interesting case study. Starting with the overview section, we have Blackboard Insurance is an insurance company that has three offices in Miami, Tokyo and Bangkok. Each office has 5000 users. Now we are given with some information on Active Directory environment. We can read that Blackboard Insurance has a single domain Active Directory forest named blackboardinsurance.com. The functional level of the forest is Windows Server 2012. Then it says that you recently provisioned an Azure Active Directory tenant and post that we are given with some network infrastructure details. Here it says that each office has a local data center that contains all the servers for that office. Each office has a dedicated connection to the internet and each office has several link load balancers that provide access to the servers. Moving on, we have some licensing issues and this section says that you attempt to assign a license in Azure to several users and receive the following error message. And here we can see the error message says that licenses are not assigned. License agreement failed for one user. Then it says that you verify that the Azure subscription has available licenses. Moving on, we are given with the plan changes information. It says that Blackboard Insurance plans to open a new office in Paris. The Paris office will contain 1000 users who will be hired during next 12 months. All the resources used by the Paris office users will be hosted in Azure. Next, we have planned Azure AD infrastructure and this section says that on-premises Active Directory domain will be synchronized to Azure AD. All the client computers in Paris office will be joined to an Azure AD domain. Moving ahead and we have information on planned Azure networking infrastructure. This section says that you plan to create the following networking resources in a resource group called All Resources. Then it says that the default Azure system routes, that will be the only routes used to route the traffic. Further, we have a virtual network named Paris VNet that will contain two subnets named subnet 1 and subnet 2. Then it says a virtual network named client resources dash vnet that will contain one subnet named client subnet. Lastly, it says a virtual network named all offices dash vnet that will contain two subnets named subnet 3 and subnet 4. Then the section says that you plan to enable pairing between Paris vnet and all offices vnet, you will enable the use remote gateway settings for Paris vnet peering. And finally, it says you plan to create a private DNS zone named blackboardinsurance.local and set registration network to client resources dash vnet virtual network. Moving ahead in the question, we have some information on planned Azure computer infrastructure. And this one says that each subnet will contain several virtual machines that will run either on Windows Server 2012 R2. Also, we have Windows Server 2016 or last option is Red Hat Linux. Then we have some details on department requirements. It says that Blackboard Insurance identifies the following requirements for the company's department. The first one is Web Administrator will deploy Azure Web Apps for the marketing department. Each web app will be added to a separate resource group. The initial configuration of the web apps will be identical. The web administrators have permissions to deploy web apps to resource groups. 
and then it says that during the testing phase auditors in the finance department must be able to review all the azure cost from the past week and now coming up are the authentication requirements this one says that the users in miami office must use azure active directory seamless single sign on when accessing resources in azure so that was all what was given in the case study and this case study had different section unlike the previous case studies that we covered in earlier four parts we started with an overview section then we were given details on active directory environment network infrastructure licensing issues then we also checked on planned changes planned azure ad infrastructure we also looked upon planned azure networking infrastructure planned azure compute infrastructure department requirements and then finally we saw authentication requirements now let's move ahead and see the questions based on this case study so here comes our question number one based on the case study that we just read the question says that you need to prepare the environment to ensure that the web administrator can deploy the web apps as quickly as possible which three actions should you perform in sequence your options given are from the template service select the template and then share the template to the web administrators secondly we have create a resource group and then deploy a web app to the resource group the third option given is from the automation script blade of the resource group click parameter tab the fourth option is from the automation script blade of resource group click deploy then the fifth option is from the automation accounts service add an automation account the last one is from the automation script blade of resource group click add to library now here my friends it's very important that not only you have to tell the three actions but you have to tell all these three actions in a correct sequence and here comes the answer to this question first we have from the automation accounts service add an automation account the second step that you need to take is from the automation script blade of the resource group click deploy and lastly from the template service select the template and then share the template to the web administrators moving on to the next question question number two it says that which blade should you instruct the finance department auditors to use your options are partner information the second option is overview the third option is payment methods and the fourth option is invoices and friends we all know that finance department is interested always to see the invoice they are only interested to know what expense you are incurring and that's why the correct answer for this question is option d invoices and this is the microsoft documentation where you can validate our answer it says download or view your azure billing invoices here you can see it's given that how to download your azure invoices pdf file you can see the entire process here you can see download invoices for an individual subscription the first step says that you have to select your subscription from the subscription page in the azure portal as the user with access to the invoice and then you have to select the invoice here you can see my friends this one here under the billing we have a invoice option and this is where you can download all the invoices related to your subscription you can read more on this documentation how to enable your finance department to know and keep a tap what are your exact expenses in azure cloud and here is a quick reminder to all our viewers please watch the earlier four parts microsoft generic guidelines on case studies along with tips and tricks that you can use while giving the exam all this and much more interesting stuff is shared in the earlier four parts the links for all the earlier parts are right there in the description box and now on your screen is question number three the question says that you need to prepare the environment to meet the authentication requirements which two actions should you perform each correct answer presents the part of the solution and please note that each correct selection is worth one point the options given are the first option is azure active directory identity protection and an azure policy the second option is a recovery services vault and a backup policy the third one is an azure key vault and access policy the fourth option is an azure storage account 
and an access policy. The correct answer for this question is option B and option D. Moving ahead with the question number 4 which is a very important question. Look at the question it says that you need to define a custom domain name for the Azure AD to support the planned infrastructure. Which domain name should you use? Your options are join the client computers in Miami office to Azure AD. The second option is add HTTP autologon Microsoft Azure AD SSO.com to the internet zone of each client computer in Miami office. The third option is allow inbound TCP port 8080 to the domain controllers in Miami office. Then the fourth option is install Azure AD connect on a server in Miami office and enable pass through authentication. The last option is install Active Directory Federation Services role on a domain controller in Miami office. Now friends, could you remotely even link this question with that of the details given in the case study? Maybe, maybe not. But let me now list all the sections from the case study that are linked to this question. Here it comes the first section which is linked is network infrastructure. If you remember the case study, we were given that each office has a local data center that contains all the servers from that office. Each office has a dedicated connection to internet. The second section which is connected is active directory environment and that said that blackboard insurance has a single domain active directory forest named blackboardinsurance.com. The functional level of the forest is Windows Server 2012. The last section which is linked is planned Azure AD infrastructure. This section said that on-premises active directory domain will be synchronized to Azure AD. Now let me first show you the answers or the options that we have chosen and then I will give you the proper justification for the same. So here it comes option B and option D. And now comes the justification for the same. Every Azure AD directory comes with an initial domain name in the form of domain name on Microsoft.com. The initial domain name cannot be changed or deleted, but you can add your corporate domain name to the Azure AD as well. For example, your organization probably has other domain names used to do the business and users who sign in to your corporate domain name. And friends, adding custom domains in Azure AD allows you to assign usernames in the directory that are familiar to the users such as ls at the rate contoso.com instead of ls at the rate domain name on microsoft.com. So that was the justification why we have chosen option B and option D as the answers to this question. So that was all for today. I hope you liked this interesting case study. If you have any comment or feedback, reach me in the comment section. You can also get in touch with us on the other social media platforms like Instagram, Facebook and Twitter. And friends, if you feel that we are doing a good work, please like the video. It really helps our channel to grow and bring more such quality content for absolutely free. It really takes a lot of research in bringing case studies. So please share our videos. And of course, more such case studies are coming up not only on AZ-104, but also on DP-203. So please do subscribe to the channel and press that bell icon to receive the timely notifications. And thank you so much for your precious time and learning with us. I will see you in the next video. Till then, stay fit, keep learning and thanks for watching. If this video has added any value in your learning, a like and subscribe is highly appreciated. Share this video in your family and friends to spread and expand their learning. Your comments and feedback give me a chance to interact with you and I look forward for them. We will meet again in our next video. Till then, stay fit, keep learning and thanks for watching.